All right, so this video, we're just talking about the potential downsides or side effects of melatonin. I did a video where I talked more extensively about melatonin, the supplement, how it helps you get to sleep, if it works, if it doesn't, what you have to look out for, etc. Um, I'll put that uh, video in the description of this video um, in the description so you can check that out. But I wanted to do a video just on the potential side effects for those of you who are maybe doing a quick Google search, uh, looking at melatonin to see, hey, is this something I should consider or something I should talk to my doctor about? Out, yes or no what the deal is by the way I'm dr. Jen Caudill practicing family physician on our health expert and video creator um, I do daily health videos and all sorts of topics so make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, and click the little bell for updates okay and make sure you drop a comment uh, below because I always love to hear from you guys all right so some potential side effects of melatonin um, and and uh, you know again there's always risks versus benefits to any and everything that we potentially take uh, potential side effects um, are headaches um, so melatonin actually can uh, cause headache uh, for some people. For some people, it can actually cause excessive sleepiness. Now, the point is to help you get to sleep faster, but some people find themselves being too sleepy or prolonged sleepiness or lots of sleepiness uh, to the point where it's a negative side effect, right? Um, being sleepy and going to sleep is one thing, but feeling sleepy all the time is another. Um, also, some people have experienced some dizziness with melatonin. This is something you want to kind of keep your eye out for um, and in case this is you also some nausea as well these are some side effects that have been reported probably the most common side effects that have been reported it certainly is possible to have other side effects as well um, also we generally say with um, these types of medications we don't want you using heavy machinery within us you know so many hours of taking the medication uh, that's also important and then I should also say as well and I touch on this in the in the longer form video that I do about melatonin in general you got to remember that supplements just like prescription medications any and all of them can have potential side effects okay so um, and interactions so melatonin could potentially interact with um, your prescription medications could potentially interact with any other vitamins or supplements you are already taking and could be potentially problematic if you have certain underlying medical conditions it's why even though this exists over the counter you have really got to talk to your doctor about if it's right for you to try if you're interested in trying it or not um, remember that melatonin typically comes in different doses there are short versus longer acting ones um, again, I go into that more in the other video, but just remember, um, hopefully this is a helpful video for those of you who are trying to do some research on melatonin just to know uh, what the deal could be. I would also say too, melatonin does not always work for everyone, so kind of keep that in mind. But uh, yes, I do recommend you chat with your doctor before you give it a try. Um, remember, uh, just check out, go to the description of this video, check out uh, the other video I did, the longer form video, so you can see kind of what melatonin is, what it does, etc., um, and just a little bit more details. Uh, let me know in the the comments what you think if you try melatonin if it's helpful for you all that good stuff I'm, I'm interested and curious to know guys I'm dr. Jen Cottle practicing family physician on air health expert and video creator I do daily health videos uh, so please uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates guys I'll see you soon